this is going to break my heart doing this, but um, I need the money. Using caustic soda, I'm going to dissolve the quartz from this gold. If you're looking for a tutorial video, go look elsewhere. Stop now, go look somewhere else and come back because this is not a tutorial video. This is me conducting a science experiment. I know that it works. I know the outcome, but I've never done it before. So it's going to be something new to me. I'm prepared. I have been out, purchased everything I need. My heart is breaking. Um, apparently there's not very good money in gold specimens at the moment. And I want to help my young fella out buying a car. So we are going to dissolve our rock. Right yeah, let's get into the video. So the element is on, it's, it's heating up. I have the caustic soda. What I'm gonna do is place my gold specimen into there when I think it's about temperature. I'm gonna cover it in caustic soda and then uh, add some water until it's a bit of a paste. That's what I have seen others do on YouTube. So I'll let that get hot. I might chuck on some PPE and We'll continue on. PPE is on. I'm feeling a little bit like Walter White at the moment. That's getting hot. I can feel it coming through the gloves. Put enough in there just to cover the specimen. It's time to add some liquid. And just put a little bit more caustic soda in there. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is all just trial and error. This is just what I've learnt from watching videos on YouTube. So I'm just gonna leave that now. I've got a little doggy bowl here to use as a lid. I'll come back and check it in an hour. So it's been one hour now. Put the mask on got to put on my gloves I actually end up changing the elements over from the smaller one to the bigger one this one was taking a really long time so 
the bigger one definitely working a lot better. I'll just put on my gloves. That's what it's looking like so far. And, of course, it wouldn't be Darwin without an afternoon storm rolling in. I'll put that lid back on and we'll give it another hour. So it's been on for two hours now. Let's spin you around and have a look. So what I might do is maybe give it another half an hour and uh, I can still see a clump of quartz there but I might give it another half an hour crank up the heat a little bit and come back and check it all right so it's been another half an hour that is extremely hot I don't want to muck about with this stuff but what I'm going to do going to turn it off and come back and check it in an hour see if it's cooled down I definitely don't want to be adding any water to it um, that'll just cause it to explode from from what I hear and uh, yeah we don't want that to happen so I've just removed it from that element and put it on the cold element and hopefully that helps with it cooling down all right, we'll come back in an hour and we'll check on him. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes now. I'll tip this water into here. Hopefully it's cool enough. And the water's going to dilute that solution. All right, I'm going to have to go get some more water. I'm going to turn it back on all the way up give that 20 minutes or so we come back and start the next process cleaning up the gold all right so been going like that now for about half an hour I suppose Might turn it off and let it cool down again. Okay. A little bit stuck here. Tip that out into our rice pan here. Just going to turn it back on. and add some more fresh clean water okay Give that a swish around. I'll show you what we're looking at so far. Look at that, you ripper.
love that one. Got my gold pan ready here. One last clean. that up there and I might adjust the camera so you can see all right <clears throat> okay I've removed my mask let's have a look at our gold here oh that works a treat how good. Wow, there is so much gold in there. Well, I'm very happy with that process. Bring it back up there for you to have a look at. But come in a bit closer. Wow, that is a chunk and a half. There is so much gold in there, even all that flowery gold. Still a few bits of quartz that didn't break down, but... All right, decided to bring it over here into the natural light. You can see it's a little bit discolored, but I think once that's been in the acid, that'll clean up very well. See that one there is still attached. Yeah, that one there, that one's heavy. That's got to be 10 grams plus. Heap of finer gold in there. That's a really good process. I'm very happy with the result. Very, very happy. I'm sure this quartz here is just going to um, crumble once I put a bit of pressure on it. But um, anyway, I might get it dried off and um, do a bit of a weigh up before I put it in acid to clean it up. Okay, it's ready for its acid bath. We'll check on it tomorrow. So they've spent the last 12 hours in acid cleaning up. Very happy with how they've come out. That one still has a tiniest bit of quartz attached to it, but uh, overall cleaned up very nice, removed all of that staining. Still do have some uh, gold that is attached to quartz. And 4.25 grams in finer gold. and lots of smaller bits of gold subgram uh, pieces so as I said earlier in the video this gold is going towards getting some cash to help my son buy his first motor car Otherwise, I would have left it like it was and hung on to it. 27.4 grams of gold. All up, 
about 31.7 free gold and of course there's still some in the rock. Thanks for hanging around and I'll see you in the next video.